here. Welcome back for second half action. Glacier Peak Grizzlies versus the Scots of Shorecrest from down the road in North Seattle. Welcome everybody into the Grizzly Bear Cave. Scott Oshman along with Tim Boyle, John McLean, Ron Henthorne, and Todd Elvigar. Five tool executive producer, cameraman, the guy who does it all. Well, talk a little bit about that last two minutes of the second quarter. We had some huge shifts there. Well, the one thing we had was Gevilar missed an opportunity for a three-point play. We ended up getting nothing out of it, and then we fouled at the last second of the half, and they get two points, so it was a five-point swing, theoretically. Glacier Peak very easily could have been up 19 to 18. Instead, it's 2016, but that uh, that five-point swing kind of kind of killed us. However, it's better than what 10 nothing to start out with. We're looking a little better than that. Yeah, you got to hit those easy buckets. It's all about possessions, getting you know high point percentage, high percentage shots. That's the highest percentage shot you get. You know, you got to knock those down. Yep. Well, the numbers from Ron Henthor and our incredible statistician, Shorecrest first quarter, guys, hit 46% from the field, and you could feel it. It seemed like better. Yeah. It and seemed then, like they were like 70%. Then but the, the defense kind of level went up on GP side. In the second quarter, they went down to 16%, shooting 31 overall from the field for the first half. GP now first quarter 27%, part of that with a lot of the seniors in, not the typical starting lineup. Then they moved up to 33% in the second quarter, which kind of crawled back into the game, ending the half with 30%. So kind of feeling them out, some big hits by Shorecrest. Glacier Peak kind of gets back into it. I think we got an exciting second half set. I think it's going to come down to the last second. Yeah. yeah. It, if, if GP can play defense like they did in that second quarter, they're going to win this ballgame. And if they can kind of control Chibagua a little bit better in the second half, I think uh, I think they'll uh, they could prevail. Yeah, if they can push him to the outside, he'll get around you because he's so quick. But if you can get some good help defense to stop him from getting all the way to the bucket, you can slow him down. And the other key ingredient, free throws for free. the Grizzlies. One for four in the first half. One for four. And you know what? The game, we were talk, John and I were talking about that earlier. You know, they had that game, the last game, they missed some crucial free throws, and they need to be doing some free throw drills. Yeah, that, that game against Sherwood would have been over in regulation. Several times. If they Several times. Had free throws. Yeah. Want to bring you up to, speed, up to speed on a, oh, go ahead, John. Just one. Would have been. Yep. Yeah. Real quickly, the Snohomish Panthers are taking on Lake Stevens in another critical key playoff implication game, and they are up 32-30 at the half. We'll try and keep up with that score as we are 40 yes, seconds Snohomish away. Snohomish ranked eighth by in the state right now. And they have really fallen on hard times. They were leading the league. Now I think there's a huge kind of stacked up at 10-4 and four in the 4A Wesco. Lee. Panthers, one of those teams that lives and die, dies by the three ball. Exciting to watch, though. Hey, you guys got any diesel vehicles? We want to make sure we welcome in our new sponsor for basketball, DX2 Performance Diesel. Check it out at dx2parts.com. Right down in town, Snohomish. Call them at 360-862-9009. DX2 Performance Diesel parts. We're gonna part of a dynamic by. diesel team. It is. We're going to have to swing by there and check that out. i got to take my motor home down there. <laughs> McCoy now. We open up third quarter action. Chibagu travel. They're going to nail him. Another up. one. I think that's his fourth travel of the yeah, game, third gentlemen. or fourth. Easy. Yeah, I know it's for sure his third. Maybe his fourth. Ninth turnovers. Turnovers a factor getting Glacier Peak back in the game. Darth Vader now opening up. Interesting that Poorman's not on the floor. Does have an injured ankle. Tarvin now. Ooh. Almost got a, a travel. Back to Tarvin now. Goes right baseline. Up and under. A little oh. nifty move. Very nice. A little trickery there. Yes. By Austin Tarvin. Five points for him, 2018, 7, 16 left to go in the third. I got him for seven points. I might be off by one. 
Glacier Peak oh, down okay. by two. Dunkarama! Oh. Shabagwu, our second dunk here on STSPN.com. He, he brought that down with authority, too. Shabagwu with 15 points. Quiets the crowd. Tarvin, a little post move. He'll get Canfield for the foul. Yeah, you, you know, your guards have to be able to do that, especially if they get a smaller kid on them. They can still post up down low. Canfield. You don't need to be 6'6". Six, six. First foul, he does have some height on him. 22-18, Shorecrest up here, opening minutes of the third quarter. Trying to get Peterson open. Tarvin now, 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Vader gonna call the set play. Tarvin now, Kaiser goes drive hard. Oh, and gets up the foul on Shattuck. Nice work by Austin Kaiser. Shattuck Second really just standing there with his hand straight up in the air. Kaiser coming into him. He drew the foul. Kind of got away with one there. Yep. Second on the, Shattuck. See about the free throw shooting here. Ooh. Kinda. Don't have the official stats, but Kaiser's one of the better ones for Glacier Peak at the free throw line. 19-22, can he take it to two? He does, nicely done Get by Austin Kaiser. Two point ball game. One of the keys to their win of the second half here is free throws. Down by two is Glacier Peak. McCoy now with the ball up top. Tarvin working on him. GP still man to man. Shibagu now top of the circle. Drives the left, oh. take Tarvin to the floor. Oh, and he's going to call it on Tarvin. Now, Tarvin was moving. Fouls on number three, Austin Tarvin, his second. Shibagu had a mission there, gentlemen. He yeah. knew what he wanted to do, and he goes left hard. Well, but you know what they've done is they've got him worried about it now, right? He's going to run into somebody oh. when he goes to the hole. Three-pointer. Beautiful ball by Shattuck from the left deep corner. Three ball. Now 25-20, just like that when they were in two. Now that's the leads at five for the guys in green. Kaiser. Around the circle. Tarvin for three short. Rebound Shibagwu. Now Petrello up top on Dabs. Looking inside, there's McCoy. Finds Shibago inside, and he'll get to draw oh. another foul and count it. Now he looked set. He to was me. way he set. He was set for a long time. But I think you got to let him come down. I think that's what they're saying. I don't know. I didn't see it. It looked like he just stood, stood still. And he was set for like a second before he got there. Yeah, so. you know, the pros, they have that ring down low. Yeah, they would normally not have called any foul on yep. that. Sh well, it would have been uh, defensive foul. Shibagwu makes him pay nonetheless. Now the lead, 28 to 20, Shorecrest on top. Five minutes left to go in the third quarter. Kaiser now wraps around. Dabs gets an opening, goes hard, and makes him pay with a nice nifty move at the glass. Very nice baseline move. Four points for Jim Avalar. McCoy now coming the other way for Shorecrest. Petrello misfires there and turns it over. Oh, short coach of Shorecrest is... Uh, He's petitioning for a Shorecrest ball there. Brian Didn't work. Fisher not happy. Do you feel like his player got held up? He thought he thought a GP guy tipped it, but it didn't. Drew Vader Take now. Take care of it, Drew. Round the horn, back to Dabs for three. Off the mark, rebound. Oishi, the sophomore for Shorecrest bringing it up. Long 32, one on one with Peterson, didn't like it. Oishi, wrap around pass back out front. Shattuck. Now go. 
Rebound, Petrello. It's good. That's four for Petrello. Pontrello, I should say. All of a sudden now, opening minutes, 346, 22 to 30. Glacier Peak down. Rough shot there. Rebound. Peterson oh, comes fouled. up with it Good somehow. Foul. I think it's on 41. 6-3, Dylan Petrello called I for think. the foul. That could Nobody be his could third. It is. See if Zach can convert two here. I think he should shoot a hook shot. <laughs> he probably should. That's short. Yeah. Saw that the whole way. Got Porman coming in. Mitchell Porman now coming back in. Priest in. Some substitutions for Shorecrest. Petrello will sit down. That's short. Again, the free throw shooting just costly for Glacier Peak. Oishi now. Oh, yeah. loses the foot. Loses the ball off his foot. Recovers. Back out to Canfield. Shattuck now. Deep into Shibagwu. He's going to call him for a push off. See who it's on. Brian Fisher not contesting that. 32. That is on Chipagwu. Got away with a little bit there, but didn't really. Nope, Sheriff got him. Porman now. 310 left in the third. Shorecrest up 30-22. Down under, good thought. But another turnover for Glacier Peak, although that's I have him for Five right now. Timeout GP. 22 30. 303 left in the third. I want to welcome everybody in. We had a great viewership last week, Friday night, at the Burn Burner, the two the double overtime win by Glacier Peak over Shorewood. That was an exciting game. We got our money's worth that night. And we promised you a good game going into that. Yeah. Too. And we delivered. We delivered. Absolutely. What did we, we promise tonight? We forgot to promise anything, so we're <laughs> off the hook tonight. Yeah. Well, Glacier Peak had some momentum there at the end of the second quarter. They haven't really caught fire this third quarter, and really defensively, they're letting Shibagu get the ball within an inch of yeah, the basket. And, and Sh Shortcrest is quietly kind of pulling away. They are. Free throws obviously are hurting Glacier Peak. Still a ton of time left again for all Wesco 3A action. Look at SnohomishTimes.com and also STSPN.com. Again, last game of the regular season. Deal. Dabs. And he Nailed it. Hurt. That's what you need. Your defense can turn some easy points for you. Now the lead, 6 30 24. Oishi. Ball out of bounds, Shortcrest. Still going to be the Scots ball. Tarvin trying to cause a turnover. Back out to the sophomore. Now he's looking for help. Sophomore making a few bad decisions, like picking up his dribble out there, right? You got to keep that thing moving. Canfield in the lane, no good. Go. Rebound, Tarvin. Tarvin's playing some aggressive basketball out there. Senior night for him. Down low to Priest, back out to Porman now for three, no good. Yeah, with Porman injured, uh, Tarvin's had to really step up and play and he's been doing a great job. Do you bring in Ramsey Rosales to try to generate some outside shots? Yeah, you know, we haven't seen Rams yet tonight. Nope. There's an outside shot, no good air ball. He was on fire in that Sherwood game. By O'Neill. back at you, Glacier Peak, Tarvin. Pull up jumper, nice release, and he nails it. Two points. Austin Tarvin, senior night, coming on strong. And now it's just a four point game. I have him 26. for nine points. Canfield now. 138 left to go in the third quarter. Three ball, good! Conan Oishi. That's his first, his first bucket of the night. 
pulls it out again. 33-26, a buck 22 left, just only in the third quarter. Still a lot of time left. Tarvin feeling it blocked. Lock. Back the other way, Oishi. Deep to Shibagu, fakes it, baseline, up and under, oh my. around the rim, and makes it look Kind of like gritty. a old Dr. J move right there. Yeah, he was up in the air. He almost had to dip his head to the side he to get did. out of the way of the backboard. 18 for Shibagu, 35-26, short crest on top, 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Costly turnover. Great no-look wraparound pass to Shibagu. Davilar knocks it out. Out of bounds. Rosales coming Rosales. in. Did I call that or you what? Did. Well, I think you're. Uh, I think the coach heard you there, Scott. Right, yeah. 38 seconds left here in the third. In the I think he said quarter. something. Coach Hunter was maybe forgetting about him down on the end of the bench there. Petrello back in. McCoy. Shattuck. No good short. Rams with the rebound. Quick and outlet to Dabs. Vader on the left side. Oh, oh misses is the, the gimme. Diving on the floor is Riley Priest. Wow. Priest getting after it. That's some aggressive basketball there. Wow. There's a divot in the hardwood by senior Riley Priest right there, gentlemen. I can hear it from here. The crowd loves it. Sacrificing the body there. No shot clock. Off the mark is Ramsey. Yeah, it's hard to come in all cold and then take a three-pointer like that. Tough shot to make. 16 seconds left. Inbound, McCoy. Scott's up 35-26, third quarter action. Looking for a screen. Ooh, hard screen yes, and he draws by the Horning. Foul. Horning just in the ball game. Picks up his second. Horning a junior. His second. What do you want to do here? Six seconds left. End of third Down quarter. Down by nine. Just get the ball across half court and throw up a three ball. That's what I think too. Back to Vader. Four, three, two seconds. Vader launches. No, not good close. to the left. Not quite the and shot I was looking for. <laughs> that was supposed to be an alley oop. Somebody was supposed to come in and grab that. Rams was supposed to go after that one yes. and throw it down. At the end of three quarters of play, Shortcrest holding on to the lead, 35-26. You're watching Wesco 3A Glacier Peak Varsity Boys Basketball on the Snohomish Time.